Today's question, what is the best acid I've ever had? What is the name of it and why was it so good? All of you acid connoisseurs would know that there's different categories and classifications of acid, that a lot of it is just marketing nonsense because it's actually all the same. It'll go by this, it'll be like needlepoint, a white fluff, gold something, I can't remember, it's been a while. But yeah, those are the three main ones, gold something, <laughs> this is awful. And then there's like one called needlepoint white fluff and there used to be things called like window pane acid. I don't know, these are just different, different grades of uh, quality which basically is just saying what is pure. I believe there's a thing called uh, nor LSD that sometimes is is uh, present in acid. And uh, if, if more of the acid that they synthesize has more nor LSD than actual LSD, you could be actually laying what you think is 100 UG, but really it's like 50. So then you'd have some really weak as blotter. Um, but what is the strongest and why? Now, this was back in 2014, 2015, when I was living in good old New Zealand, Hobbit country. I was lucky enough to find a guy named the Blue Viking. Blue Viking was the king of acid. It took me years until I finally learned why his was so good. Now, if you started off tripping on Blue Viking's acid, he sold them in different potencies, everywhere from 100 all the way up to nearly 300 micrograms of the purest, cleanest acid you would ever experience. 150 micrograms of his stuff was like 300 plus, I'm not even shitting you, of other stuff. Like, I mean, plus, it was maybe it's like 400. Like, it was insane. 150 would send me to a legitimate other planet. So either it was just so clean or his stuff was so pure, it was so strong, who the hell knows? But ever since that, everything else was just child's play. It was nonsense, garbage quality. But anyway, I actually learned, and you're going to listen for this, why his stuff was so good. Now, there's this drug that was invented for people with migraine headaches. I think it can even work on cluster headaches. It's called Caffergot. Now, it was derived off this finding that LSD is one of the rare substances that actually relieves these insanely painful, debilitating headaches, the most painful migraine you could have in your life. There's something in the lysergamide that relieves it. So they figured out a way to take the lysergamide, the LSD molecule, and attach something else to it to make it essentially inactive in the psychedelic sense, but active in the sense where it would actually relieve the headaches. And it's called Caffergot. One of the things that's on it is caffeine. After some testing, guess what they found in Mr. Blue Viking's acid? You guessed it, trace amounts of caffeine. What this means is that no one's gonna put like a couple micrograms of caffeine in their blotter. Like, like you know, caffeine's dose, like 200 milligrams is an average coffee. Like a microgram, it's, it's imperceivable the amount they found. Like you would actually need a microscope to see it. Why would, they, let's, let's figure this out, okay? Why would you find caffeine in his acid? Because it was converted from Kaffir God. This motherfucker was buying shit tons of Kaffir God and he found a way to convert it back into usable LSD. And let me tell you, I think because the starting part process was synthesized in a proper lab, like this is FDA approved stuff, like you get this at your local pharmacy. Usually LSD is made from ergot fungus that grows on rye. It's a natural, like it's it's a fungus. It's like this black gross shit that if you eat it, you're gonna get intense uh, vasoconstriction. You might trip a little bit, your limbs will fall off and you'll die. So that's what it's usually started from. But this was a pharmacy grade product. He just had to do a little snips here and there, the molecule and boom, bada bing, what do you got? The purest, most potent acid in the world. So I don't, I don't know if anyone else is doing this, but the Blue Viking, as mysteriously as he arrived, he vanished off the scene. Nobody knows where he went. And I don't know if he's reappeared since, but uh, I'm not sure if anyone since him has been doing this Caffergot LSD thing. And let me tell you, most of my stories that sound insane, and when I'm saying the dose, people are like, there's no way. Like, how did, how did they go so far off that dose? Like, how did you like share, you know, like I've said a million times, how do you have tele telepathic communication? Like, how, how did the world transform into a legitimate alien planet where it looked like there was mystical things growing and swirling around out of the ground, like 3D geometric shapes that you could like take a 3D view on. Like, how are you seeing all of that of like 150, 200 micrograms? Because it was this blue Viking shit. I once tried to mimic what I got off 150 of his by taking, I think it was 350 of some other stuff. Didn't even come close. Didn't even come close. So that's why my story sounds so insane. The cat's finally out of the bag. It's because I had the purest, most insane shit this side of the galaxy. Anyway, hope that answers your question. I hope you learned something along the way. Of course, I don't recommend anybody takes these compounds. We're just making this for education and harm reduction and sharing some stories from the past. If you did enjoy this video, leave it a big thumbs up, the la thumbs up, and over to psychsubstance.shop to pick up your very own trip blanket. We've got the mushrooms, no words in stock. Everything else is out of stock. Head on over to Patreon for a lot of the new videos that we just came out with. There's actually a Patreon version that shows things we can't show here. So the Patreon version is different of some of these really new exciting videos. So head on over there to find that and I will see you guys on the next show. I can't talk anymore. And of course, subscribe for more. Cheers.